privacy. We thought it might be someone dangerous. Big people have big feet. Yes, and we don't like being stepped on. Ah! Oops, sorry for stepping on you, Mr. Mayor. I didn't see you there. It's fine. Glad it's just you. But it's not just me. My teacher, Miss Cookie, is bringing my whole class here today on the nature trail. Lots of big children and a big teacher. They mustn't see us fairies. Or us elves. Or Mrs. Witch. Or the dwarves. Or Redbeard, the elf pirate. Yes, yes, yes. The whole of the little kingdom is meant to be secret. <laughs> That's my class. Here they come. Quick, into the house. in the toadstools. All right, gather round, children. Yes, Miss Huggy. Here are some toadstools. Take toadstools off on your lists. Toadstools. Miss Cookie, do toadstools have little windows in them? Uh, no. <laughs> Missy, that was close. Yes, but I think we got away with it. Next on the list is an oak tree. Let's go and find one. Oh no! They're heading towards the great elf tree. We have to get there first. <laughs> big people! Big people! Coming this way! Ah, big people! Big people! Everyone into the tree! like a normal tree. Oh, look, a little person. Ah! Here we are. You can tell an oak tree by the shape of the leaves. Do oak trees have little people living in them? What? <laughs> of course not. Tick oak tree on your lists, everyone. Oak tree. Phew, that was close. You're telling me. Right. Next on the list is insects. This way, children. Uh-oh, they're heading straight for the little castle. We have to get there first. Wait for me. Daddy, Daddy, big people are coming. Big people? Quick, close the shutters. Good, now we're completely hidden. Hidden? But what about the castle? Perhaps they won't notice it. Won't notice it? Won't notice it? A little fairy castle with a flag on top? I know. I'll just imagine the castle invisible. Brilliant, Nanny. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. A castle! This field is a perfect place for insects to live. I think I just saw a castle. Then it went invisible. Oh, what fantastic imaginations you children have. Oof, what? There does seem to be something here. I can feel a tower with a flag on top. Uh, Miss Cookie, maybe there are some insects over here. Uh, oh, oh yes, insects. That's what we're looking for. Miss Cookie, I found an insect. Wow, wow. Lovely. Now, does anyone know what this insect is called? Gaston. What? Oh, uh, I mean, a ladybird. Wow, wow. All right, children, tick insect on your lists. Insect. And now, on to the lake. I think it's this way. Thank goodness they're moving away from the little castle. But they're going right towards Mrs. Witch's house. No time to lose. How can we hide Mrs. Witch? She's huge. Maybe she could pretend she's not a witch. Good idea, Ben. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Witch. Listen, uh, there's no time to explain, but you have to pretend you're not a witch. Okay. Who am I, then? You're just a nice old lady. Okay. Here they come. Remember, you're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh, pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs. Witch. Your name is Mrs. Witch? Uh, yes. But I'm not a witch. I'm just 
a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes. Straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs. Witch. Yes, and you're called Miss Cookie. But you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs. Witch. Carefully, big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie, I'm a toy. Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Miss Cookie, I found a tadpole. Lovely. Tick tadpoles off your list. Tadpoles. And that's the end of today's nature trail. Come on, children, back to school. Yes, Miss Cookie. Well done, Redbeard. They never suspected a thing. It was a close call and no mistake. They've been all over the little kingdom now, but we haven't been discovered. Yes, well done, everyone. The big people have no idea us little people live here. They didn't see the great elf tree or the little castle. And they didn't find out Mrs. Witch is a witch. All I can say is, it's a good thing they didn't bump into the gnome. Dumpty dumpty doo da. Ah! The gnome! Dumpty dumpty doo da. Hello. Evening all. Hello. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Party? Is there party food there? I like food. Uh, we're just on a nature trail. Oh, yes. What have you seen on this nature trail? We've seen toadstools and insects and tadpoles. Toadstools, insects, tadpoles. But there's loads more stuff. Really? There's the elves and the fairies. What? That blabbermouth is giving everything away. How can we stop him? I know. Come on, Gaston. Yes, the elves live in a tree. An oak tree? Yes, it's got tiny windows in it. I thought I saw a castle. You saw it all right, because it's there. The posh fairies live in a little castle. Made of tiny bricks it is. Is a witch? Of course. She's called Mrs. Witch. And do fairies live in these toadstools? Yes. This is a secret fairy village. Shush. Hey, what's that? Mr. Gnome, big people must never know about the little kingdom. Oh, yes, of course. Leave this to me. Now then. You know how I was talking about toadstools, insects, and tadpoles? Yes! Right. Everything I talked about after that, forget it. Forget it? Yes. And there's no magic dwarves, dragons, or goblins in these woods, neither. Okay. Come on, class. Let's 